In this video, I will show how to cut a slope using a tapered end mill or a countersink tool. In the particular video I'm showing now, we will use a countersunk tool definition. We are going to go ahead and cut this slope here using that countersink tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select where I'm at, which would be the tool change there. I want it above that apex 45. I'm going to go ahead and go to my prismatic machining tab and I'm going to select profile contour. Here we get our workflow toolbar menu. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. I want to look at my uh, machining operation completely. First thing I'm going to do is select my bottom plane. And here I'm going to go ahead and select just a point on that lower curve. Change this to zero because that's what it would normally be set to. And then I'm going to select the guide curve. It is very important that we select the upper guide curve. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the green checkbox to select. And I must select a top plane. Top plane will be on the exact same plane as my guide curve plane. From here, I'm going to jump over to my strategy tab and I'm going to go to the axial tab. And I'm going to select number of levels. This will be a three for me. And the key to all of this is the draft angle of 45 degrees. This basically takes the 90 degree wall that we've defined in the system and it lays it over to 45. So I'm going to go ahead and hit display here and we're going to take a look and see what we get. So this looks pretty good. I'm actually stepping down. The only problem I see here is I'm actually angling in. So my each path is getting shorter and shorter based off the lay down angle. And I don't want that. I'm going to go ahead and escape out of here. And I'm going to go back over to my geometry tab. You'll notice here that I have some relimiting elements that were automatically defined for me when I selected my guide. So I'm going to actually remove those. And all those do is those keep everything contained within that guide. So if I go ahead and hit display now, you'll see we are going to the limits of our guide all the way down, which is exactly what we want there. So next thing I want to do is I'm going to rotate this over a little bit. We want to take a look at the depth that we're coming down at. Right here, we are right at the bottom of that curve, and I don't want that. We want to go past, like I had said in the beginning of this video. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and escape out of here. I'm going to go to my bottom plane. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to change my bottom plane to minus 20,000. We'll do a display. And that now drops 20,000 below the edge. And there you have it. We have now programmed a slope using a tapered tool.